Hey guys, we're back. I know I'm a day late, but I just wanted to make sure you guys got it all in, you know. The crazy ass weekend. Football. Bloody hell. What do you know? So, let's just get straight into it. What did you guys think about Saturday? Any games worth calling? Nah. Yeah. Or maybe the best thing ever that's happening. Liverpool losing 3-0. To Watford. And man, this result looked like it was coming. The team had been lethargic for their past three games. They'll still win the title, no doubt. But I think Arsenal are going to be like, we still got the <laughs> Invincibles record. But they did not look like themselves. Against Atleti and against West Ham, they got lucky for that win. And if they continue like this, the impossible might happen. Here, but I highly doubt it, you know. They're gonna win, regardless of what anybody says. And that's coming from a United fan. It's hard to swallow, but you gotta do it. You gotta take it. Next, let's see. United take on Everton during the weekend. 1-1. This game was something interesting. David, what a howler. Seven goals since last season that have... Seven errors since last season, let me correct myself, that have led to goals. Joint top with guess who? Jordan Pickford. Who made a howler and Bruno's equalizer. Bruno was great. United created chances, controlled the ball. Igalo should have buried the chance right at the end. But in the end, now a lot of people seem to be calling that Jordan Hend Dean Henderson should be given the number one jersey and David should be let go. But guys, come on, even the best have off days. He's been having an off season. He'll be the first one to raise his hand and say, guys, I've had a shit ass season. 100% for sure. But we got to stick by him. He's pretty much protected a lousy backline for a while now. And come on, let's cut the guy some slack. Unless he decides he wants to leave. Dean is a good person to take over. We know Sergio Romero and uh, Lee Grant are both. Lee Grant wants to retire. Sergio Romero wants first in football. They both want to go. Now if David De Gea wants to leave too, that's a different case. Because then you have Joel Pereira and you have Dean Henderson. Two excellent young keepers who can compete with each other for the number one jersey. So, the future looks bright. But for now, he's still one of the great keepers. Let's cut him some slack. We're united. We don't jump on the stupid bandwagon like some of these plastic bloody fans already chanting Oli out. His tactics were wrong. He didn't know what he was doing. Well, you plastic fools. Why don't you go support another club? They need your plastic in them you know we stand by our manager we stand by our team we stand by everything we just stop pointing the blame i think a lot of this starts with idiot einsteins on tv and these come from the you know former united legends who can't keep their fucking mouths shut so if you guys can stand with our manager do us a favor stop supporting the club just go away you know you will help us a lot. In the end, fair result. Now, United got, people also got lucky with VR, but Sagoitsan with obstructed line of view. He was in an offside position. Should have never been a goal. Flip side, is VR good for the game or not? I still hate it. Because thinking from an Everton fan's point of view, that would have been a goal. They would have had three points. Kills the excitement. I would have been devastated to see United lose. But those are the emotions, the highs and the lows you run with in the game. This is the beautiful game that does not need to be stopped. We don't stop unless there is a need to be stopped. That's why I hate the video <laughs> assistant referee. They may have corrected a lot of decisions, but the game slowed down. It's really frustrating and it's really annoying. I do not like it. I'm still anti-VAR, no matter what. 
Okay, I'm going to stop complaining and bitching and moaning about the Premier League weekend. El Clasico. Real Madrid Barcelona, a game everybody looks forward to. Boy, it was a shitty game. Even though Real Madrid won 2-0. All I got to say is oh, it's me. This used to be one of the most high intensity high-paced, high-quality of football game. This 2-0 victory was a snooze fest. And when Messi doesn't perform, Barca suck. In Madrid's point of view, they will find anything they can to win because they have a hard time trying to score without Ronaldo there. Shows you what kind of a player he is or was. And he's scoring for fun in Juve, with, in Serie A with Juve. So, I'm really not hit. That game was... Uh, people complain about why people like the Premier League. Premier League's high-intensity game. A team that's so far in front like Liverpool can go get their asses spanked by the team in the relegation table. Convincingly. Again, convincingly. You don't see PSG getting their asses spanked. You won't see Barcelona or Liverpool or Real Madrid getting their asses handed to them. So, that's why still Premier League, number one. Number one. Transfer rumors. Jadon Sancho. Will he come to United or will he not? All definition, everything lies on Champions League football. Now, for hypothetical uh, situation, let's say United get into the Champions League. They get in the Champions League, they have a place, they've given a team of Warner a contract. And boy, would he, would he be a coup. But he's already said it. He's playing the flirtation game. He wants to go to Anfield. And if he goes to Anfield, where will he play? You got Salah, you got Firmino, and you got Mane. And you got Nabi Keita, who's having a hard time finding a game. So, it's kind of interesting. Who will he replace? Will Klopp let Firmino go? I think that'd be a mistake. He's one of the most selfless players in the whole eleven. who will think about the team first and himself. Mane, and Mane is there, but Mane has a selfishness to him. Salah is a selfish player. But that's how most great, great goal scorers are. So it's going to be interesting where Timo ends up because Barcelona are interested in him too. And Barcelona do need him. Playing alongside Messi, maybe he might actually enjoy that. Only time will tell. Sancho, reports say he wants to come to United. I don't even know if that's going to happen, but I'm hopeful as a United fan. So let's see what happens. Right now, those are one, two of the biggest stories that I've heard. A lot of players are going to be liquid link with United because, let's face it, United are not where they should be, so we're going to find out. Anyways, guys, I'm going to see you after the FA Cup weekend. And uh, we'll chat soon. Bye. Take care.